take a review of this Logic washer dryer. Now it is the UK's cheapest washer dryer on the market, uh, especially in Curry's, since Logic is Curry's own brand. It is manufactured by the Chinese company Media, so um, you would expect poor quality, but that is no longer the case with, to be fair, a lot of Chinese products anymore. I actually find that Chinese products now are better made than other countries. Anyway, to take a look then. Now, this design is quite, to me, it's quite sleek actually, and there's a lot of influence from the upper uh, brands. Look at that door, for example. That door, especially this here, is kind of reminding me of a Bosch. And then we take a look at the filter flap at the bottom and it kind of reminds you of, well, every brand going, really. Well, it's quite neat with that because you can just simply lift it down and then you've got your filter there. Right, pull our door handle here and it opens up. And we've got what is supposed to be an eight kilo drum, but that drum is so huge that it's actually a good few inches bigger than the Bush washer dryer I reviewed a couple of years ago. Bear in mind they're both rated at eight kilo and this has one kilo less drying load than the Bush, yet this has a bigger drum than the Bush. So when you fill it, you should fill it loosely to the top, not having to force any in otherwise you're gonna have more than eight kilo. It's got a brush motor, but um, so there's a lot of things. This door seal, um, it's quite nice and chunky around here. It's not bad quality actually for, for what it is. And I do like the design of the drum paddles. It's not like it's, it's that cheap. They put the cheapest stuff in. Okay, so it's not got a drum pattern though on it. Um, that metal? Painted plastic. I think that's metal, that. Yeah, it's a bit galvanised. Ah, that's, that's cool, galvanised. Okay, so a little story behind this. I got this machine for 20 quid um, with an unknown issue. Now, for some reason, with it only being just over a year old, probably not even that, the amount of, they, they had recently moved house. Um, so I'm getting, guessing that the warranty had kind of not covered them. For some bizarre reason, the back weight on this, because this has two counterweights, unlike most machines, it had one on the back, had decided, or the bolts decided to come loose on it. But the cool thing was, is that it sh the the concrete block was surrounded in, um, in like a rubber casing. Uh, it looks like it's rubber casing filled with concrete and then it's you know, and then it's secured then, so it can't actually, yeah, that prevents deterioration. Now that's pretty cool, that, that shows that they're trying to make something last. However, it had rattled its bolts out, but once it took the weight off, I was expecting it to, you know, ha be uneven and then not be able to spin, or if it did spin, it would clash and bang and blah, no, and it didn't do that. So I actually have no idea what that back, back weight was supposed to be doing. Weights are there to counterbalance like stuff like the motor on the machine, but this was just isn't needed. And it's been fine. So I never put it on. To me, it's like it's been over-engineered for some reason. And this is from a company. This is from a Chinese company that's obviously trying to make money. Hmm. Bit of an old one. But anyway, other than that, the machine's been totally fine and it runs like new still, which is good for this review. Right, you can select one of 15 programs. Scratch that, you can select one of 16 programs. Get to that in a minute. Now, as you turn the machine off by going to top dead center, and then you can select um, either one way or the other way. Um, to switch it on and basically you can twizzle it around to wherever you like to turn it on right 15 programs let's start with them now let's start with cottons um, you've got cottons which can be selected at 40 or 60 and that's it 
Huh? Are Volcans is all per temperatures? No, this is Cotton's standard 40 and 60 degree programs, but um, I think this has been tuned to just be a normal length, normal temperature. Because I'll get onto that in a minute. The sportswear program allows you to wash a half load four kilo of lightly soiled laundry, both mixed cotton and synthetic, in 45 minutes, uh, or an hour five at 40, or an hour 25 at 60. Uh, right, a couple of things as well. We've got a delay button here. Select that and you can select a time of up to 24 hours. Before the program begins. Speed is your spin speed. So now most programs you'll actually find doesn't set to the maximum spin setting for that program. Which is quite annoying actually on this. It's quite annoying on lots of media machines. Um, so anyway, this one, for example, the sportswear, can actually go away to uh, 1400 RPM, which is its maximum spin speed for this machine. Not only that, uh, if you look closely here, you've got zero, which is no spin, cancels all the intermediate spins and takes off time. There you go, so you've got 400, 600, 800, and then get 10 dash. Uh, basically, when you get 10 dash, 12 dash, and 14 dash, you are basically setting the machine to 1000, 1200, or 1400 RPM. Then finally, we've got dry level over here as well, which you can't select on any of these programs marked black around the dial. There's no drying. Express 15 is a 15 minute program washed in cold water to wash lightly soiled laundry up to two kilos. Um, it ends with a short spin, so don't expect anything to be spun. Cool thing about it, you can increase the temperature on this, so you can have 20 or 40 degrees. It adds on time, but it will also heat up to that temperature too, which is quite good. As I find the other quick wash programs that allow you to select a different temperature don't always seem to get to that temperature. This one does, so does the old predecessor. Um, Gene's program allows you to wash a half load of normal soiled um, jeans, denim, sort of that kind of stuff. Um, it presets at 60 and it can go up to 90. It uses more water um, instead. It is a synthetic based program, so it ends with a shorter spin than normal. More water, half load. Delicate program allows you to wash a half load of light weight materials. Um, those that are marked up with the double bath or the single bath, but is very, what's a very gentle action. Again, uses more water, um, very gentle washing action, um, and has a limited spin of 800, which is a very short spin as well, so. The 20 degree program allows you to wash a mixed load of lightly soiled, both cottons and synthetics at 20 degrees. Eco 4060 is the standard program on this. Cotton is also the standard program too. There is two standard programs on this for some reason. Anyway, and it also seems like a lot of manufacturers are doing this for some reason. Instead of just taking the old one off and putting Eco 4060 in, they're just putting both in for some reason. Anyway, this obviously allows you to wash eight kilo of um, cotton laundry at 40 degrees to get the same results as 60 degrees to then achieve its a rated energy rating and water rating and spin rating yeah to achieve the actual spin rating on this you have to select this program um you can probably also get it with cottons anyway since it will still be running the standard programming just to basically clarify this final spin on this is longer than normal or than the 
than a normal cons program. But not the cons program. I'll get onto that. Okay, so we'll start start making it less complicated for you right now. We're going to linen. This allows you to wash up to 90 degrees and a full load of cartons at a spin speed of 800 RPM. Yeah, it presets at 800 RPM, which is annoying. And this is actually your cottons program! Labelled wrong! This is your normal, genuine cottons program. You select 40, it does it 40. You select 60, it does it 60. You select 90, it does it about 90 degrees. Right, also, these are all in orange, so that means that the dry level is available. Right, maximum load for linens and cottons is five kilos. Right, this dry leather button has four settings. The first is normal dry, then plus dry, which is extra dry. Um, great for um, washing cottons with double hems, for example. Uh, then you've got less dry, which is damp dry, basically. And will basically your laundry will come out slightly damp, ready for ironing. So you won't be able to wear it straight away. Right. And then you've got that. That is timed. 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, 120 minutes, and off. So... This one has four levels of dry level, which is a lot better than the bush, which had one level of dry level and it was two hours six. Yeah, I know, bizarre. Well, this gives, this gives you 30, 60, 90, or 120 minutes. That's pretty cool. Right, the final button over here is drum clean. So, periodically, the machine will try to tell you it needs drum clean. Uh, a drum clean is basically don't put any laundry in. Um, put in any detergent that you want that is specifically for cleaning the drum out and then select this program. It will fill up with a medium water level, it will uh, adjust the agitation and the heat's all the way up to around 70 to 90 degrees. I think it's 70. Don't quote me on that. But it will obviously preset to 90 then. Um, and in an hour 18 time it's done. Now. Cool thing is, um, that means you don't actually have to maintain the machine too much. Anyway, we'll go back to the programs. So if you want to go back to the programs, you can either select drum clean, and that will turn it back off again, or you can just turn it down. Um, anyway, next program, one hour wash and dry, which actually takes 58 minutes apparently. Now this allows you to wash one kilo of laundry um, and dry it to a standard dry level in one hour. It does basically the 15 minute wash. So, what else can you do with it? Well, you can't adjust the spin speeds. You can? Why? That's stupid! Uh, but you can adjust temperature. You can have 20 degrees, so now we're. 40 degrees, which is now 19. Yeah, it's getting quite annoying. Why is 40 degrees a whole 20 minutes longer? And I, on Express 15, it's six minutes longer. You're washing the same amount of laundry and it does the same process as well. Why is it 20 minutes longer? It's weird. You can't adjust the dry level. Wash and dry um, allows you to wash and dry all in one go five kilograms of cotton laundry in six hours and 53 minutes. Say that a bit quicker. Six hours and 53 minutes. Now you can't change the spin speed for change. But you can't also change the temperature. So what temperature is washing at? Well, I have a sneaking suspicion this is Eco 6040 or 4060 as you want to put it which also doesn't like the temperature, which means that it washes at 40 degrees. But it is annoying that you can't change the temperature. I mean, I get it if it was just a cottons program 
like reduced for five kilo, and then you had a washing time and rinse time adjusted for five kilo. But it isn't. I have no idea what it is. Hmm. You can't even adjust the dry level, which is annoying. Anyway, move on. Mix program allows you to wash a full load of cotton and synthetic laundry with mixed colours. Um, in about an hour 20, it's for lightly soiled mixed colours. Uh, you can actually change the temperature too, and you can have up to 90. We've always been able to have up to 90. And it's it's got the drying uh, capabilities as well. Which is nice. Uh, but speed is also preset to 1400. What is going on? You can't preset the comms program to 1400. Slash learnings. But the mix cycle is? Huh? Oh. My mistake then. You can. It's preset to 800. Except when you select 90. No. What have I done? Cut. Right, synthetics allows you to wash a half load of man made fibres in. 2 hours 20 minutes, you can have up to 60 degrees like you can with most synthetics and it has a limited spin speed this time around of 1200 RPM which is automatically preset. Yeah, why isn't cotton slash learning is preset to 1400? I know I'm ranting on here but this is just annoying. Um, you can also wash and dry uh, continuously and you can also dry 4 kilos of synthetic laundry as well. Oddly enough, the time length for synthetics is shorter, right? Uh, also, there is no drying time temperatures. So, just to also say, there is no drying temperature. You have basically one heat, um, which is basically low heat, which is why it takes ages. Well, actually, to be honest, five kilos in about three and a half hours isn't too bad. But it could be better. Right, dry is dry only, basically. Um, cool, cool things. It'll, so it'll preset at normal dry. Um, you can have obviously more dry, less dry, and then time dry up to two hours. Uh, but if you notice, two hours goes to two hours ten. And that's because we press speed. It sets forty hundred. Which you can turn off. That better. Yeah, this will automatically do a spin before drying. So just be aware of that. Um, and that's because it, it's, it's, kind of, it's preset to 1400 if you notice. And that's because obviously if you're going to dry something, they want to make sure that it's spun as fast as possible without you knowing. Yeah. Right, then we've got rinse and spin. It does one rinse and a full final uh, spin at uh, 1400 that is preset to a 1000 but you can have 1400 so there we go uh, and spin only does the same it can only it presets at 1000 rpm and goes up to 1400 and it's a full length spin again so there we go that's all the programs and the options quite literally actually because i even showed you the temperatures Pull our detergent drawer out. We've got three compartments in here. Um, the small one here is for the pre wash section of the drawer that you never need to use, so don't use it. The middle one is for your optional fabric softener if you want to use fabric softener, which we are doing. And the big left one is for your washing powder.
So, unlike others, um, the liquid dispenser has been removed from this drawer. Hmm. Thank you. 
Ah, so let's see how well it did. Now, there's actually still moisture here on the door, but only on one side. Still, that could just be residue moisture. Hmm, actually, mm, 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 mm. No. Right, well, it's, it's dried something. Hmm. Um, hmm. Mm. Uh, mm. Right, okay, so it hasn't actually properly dried the bedding. It, it's like the airflow was a bit poor. Like, it doesn't like bedding. Like, this pillowcase is pretty much spot on dry, yet the actual, like, duvet itself isn't. And I do know that if you put, let's like, say, a actual full five, six kilogram, if I, I did the wash and dry with five kilograms of towels and it happily dried them all actually so it's not like it doesn't work it really does the sense of drying works on it okay to a degree then so what am i going to give this out of 10 then now there's a bit of a problem um it's a bit hard to decide that when you've got one load that will dry fine and another load that won't that also being said, there are other manufacturers out there that will drive bedding on the Sensor Drive program perfectly fine. So, hmm. So I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. Um, so basic, I get that. I don't mind the basicness, it's good. It makes its things simpler and it justifies the really, really cheap price. But of course, and I do like the bigger drum on it, but it hasn't seemed to have aided with drying though. So that's why it's getting a 6 out of 10. All right. Um, tell us what you think of the results down below in the comments. And I'll see you in another review. Bye for now.